Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Family Expedition. If you're new here, my name is Kenny, along with my wife Chrissy and our six children. We are converting this school bus into an RV. Now today, we're starting the build process, putting new insulation in. But before I do that, I have some old insulation here out of the walls. Just gotta get that bagged up. And once that gets bagged up, we're gonna start cutting the new insulation to put in. So I'll be right back with you after I get this cleaned up. There, that's better. Now that we have all the insulation picked up off the floor, we're gonna pull the new insulation out of the garage, start cutting it the size and putting it in the wall pieces. Okay, this is what we're doing. We have this foam board insulation and one side is a foil backing. We're cutting it to size just to fit in there. And we do have to make two pieces so that we can get them in there. And then just run a piece of foil tape over the top of them. And we'll probably finish this up tomorrow. Um, we're gonna keep working tonight, but it's gonna get dark, so it's gonna be hard to film in here with low light. And uh, we'll give you another update tomorrow. All right, we have all the rest of the pieces to go in place. Cut. So now we just have to put them in place. Pardon the mess. We're cutting some two by two furring strips and putting them at each corner. That one fell down. Each corner above the windows. And then we're gonna cut more and put them along the top too. And we're gonna do that so we have some nailers to put the ceiling in, um, to attach cabinets to, you know, just so we have places to screw into the wood if we need to instead of just the metal. We can go into the metal, but I'd rather just have some wood up there to attach things to. Also, these little nailers we're gonna put up, this is just another small one, it's not the finished size. They will help hold in the foam well, until the adhesive dries. Any gaps left over, we'll fill in with spray foam insulation. Let's talk for just a minute about the insulation that we're using. We are using a laminated expanded foam board. It is this Artec insulin foam board. Uh, it's laminated on both sides. It is mold resistant, insect resistant, rigid insulation. And I believe the R value in this is an R6. And I know there's a lot of debate out there among what kind of insulation you should use for your conversion. This is just what we chose to use for the walls and the ceilings. Spray foam, the pink foam board, this foam board, the fiberglass insulation. There are advantages and disadvantages to every kind. This is just the type that we chose to use and that we think is gonna work well for what we're using it for. All right, we have all the insulation cut up in the, the correct sizes. We have stacks of it sitting back there, there and here. And this insulation doesn't bend super well. It does have some flexibility to it, not enough flexibility to form the curve. We're cutting some grooves out of the pieces. Find a way that worked for the sharp corner and then a way that worked for the gradual curve that is on the top. Made, made some templates and we're cutting the grooves and then getting them put into place. pieces of insulation that are going in this part that has a big curve in it on the corner. We cut them to length and we also cut grooves into them so they'll bend enough to fit the curve.
And this way, it fits the curve. Um, and we'll put an adhesive on the back of them, just some construction adhesive to hold them up there, but they stay pretty good on their own. And then on the sides, we'll have some nailers to nail in other stuff that we're building and some of them underneath. And everywhere else where there's not, we're gonna fill in the gaps with some spray foam. Got all the grooves cut in the foam so it bends to fit the curve of the bus. So now I just gotta put it up. All right, insulation's all installed. In this section, I have something I'm working on up there, so that's why I didn't have the insulation installed there. You'll notice some of them, this one and that one there, they're kind of hanging down. There's no adhesive on those to help them adhere to the ceiling and stay up there. Um, this one just happens to be hanging down and that one too. There are some others that do not have adhesive yet. And it's so I can run the electrical, move those panels out of the way, shift them, do what I need to do with the electrical without having to rip down foam that has been glued to the metal. It's on purpose, did that for a reason to try to make my life easier later on. Now what's left over is this giant mess that we have to clean up so we can install the floor. That's next on the agenda. I'm gonna get off here so me and the boys can clean this mess up and we can get to install on the floor. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. It really does help us out. And if you're not subscribed and you wanna to continue to follow along with how we finish out our bus, hit that subscribe button. Until next time. Life is a winding road